Hi everyone, it's Nicole. So we um, have our pattern papers. We have our embellishments all separated by color. And then I grabbed a whole bunch of those uh, plastic baggies. And then I have all these embellishments too. And that's the video that I put up yesterday showing you what embellishments I'm going to put with these page kits. Now, basically, I start on top. And then I start putting embellishments with the page kits. Now, remember, I don't have a clue what photos I'm going to do at this point. It's just putting in embellishments. So now I'm going to put you on fast forward and we're going to do a few kits. Okay, so the next step that I do for putting my page kits together is I go through all the pattern papers again, bring them out, kind of spread them out on my mat, and then I go through the embellishments. Now, the extra step that I took for dividing the embellishments by color really helps at this point because really, instead of looking at, you know, 10 different die cut packages, I can just go right to the pink and... I don't, you know, take everything that is pink and put it on that page because then I won't have enough for the remaining pink pattern paper, I guess, kits. And so what I try to do is I try to make sure that I have between 15 and 40 embellishments. And I even go one step further. I make sure that it's not all stickers or all not, uh, not all die cuts. So I choose some, when I look at it, I go, okay, I need at least three embellishment foundation. So that can be a label, um, a doily, something that can go at the bottom of my embellishment clusters. And then I look at different textures. So I make sure that I pull in some wood veneers or some chipboard or um, some flares, some enamel dots, some enamel shapes this point I'm not even worried about what it says on the stickers because I don't even know what you know pictures I'm going to do what I'm looking at at this point is colors and then shapes and texture now sometimes what what happens is as I'm starting to pull these embellishments in you know because of the saying that's on them or um, the colors or the type of embellishments sometimes it makes me think of some photos that would go really well with that specific kit so then i take one of my recipe cards and i write down what i think would look good on that page now if you're the type of person that likes to choose their pictures first you know as you're doing your page kits just have a big stack of photos near you and as you're pulling out a pattern paper kit just look to see okay which photos would look really well with that add the photos at that time then you know pull some embellishments but at this point like I said I go for tones and I find that I do scrap a lot like monochromatic so I you know if this page here I took out pink then I go for different shades of pink if the next page is blue then I just go to the blue tone and Sometimes I'll add two colors because I like the look that it gives when you add two colors together. Now putting these page kits together, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes each time. But what I like is because I'm doing several in a row, then same thing with choosing the pattern papers, because you're going through those embellishments and you're seeing them over and over again, then after a while you say, hey, that would look really good with this pattern paper because you've you've seen them over and over again and this is the perfect thing to do while you're doing something else so most times i'll either put an audiobook and i'll be listening to that or i put on a tv show and then i watch a tv show while i'm putting these page kits together and have you ever felt like you feel like being in your scrap room but you don't feel like scrapbooking before what I used to do was organize, like reorganize stuff, which is nice. It's still nice to do that sometimes, but it doesn't 
you know, do anything for putting pages together. Now this, when I feel like scrapbooking, but I don't feel, I feel like being in my scrap room and touching my scrapbooking stuff, but I don't feel like scrapbooking. This is the perfect thing to do because you feel like you're getting something accomplished. You get to play with your stuff and you get to prep some pages for a future use. Years ago, I only did page kits for when I went away to retreats. And then there was a couple, two or three years back, I needed to do a layout for my YouTube channel. And I just didn't feel like pulling, you know, a bunch of different things. And I remembered some pages that I had done for a crop and I hadn't finished them. And my intention was just to leave them there until my next crop. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to grab that and get a page done. And my goodness, it went so fast. And I'm like, why am I not doing that when I'm scrapbooking at home? So now most of the time, I just have always a bunch of page kits that are ready that I use, you know, when I'm crafting in my craft room. And of course, I still make them for when I go away to crops. Now, the only difference is when I make pages that I just have in my craft room, I don't put pictures in them and I don't do the journaling ahead of time. So that's something different that I do for when I go, when, when I make pages to go away for a crop, I make sure that I have pages or pictures and I do my journaling. And then just before I go for a, you know, to a crop, I make sure that I add stuff like um, twine and washi tape. I'm not too fussy about those things when I make page kits for in my craft room. But when I go to a crop, I make sure that it has pictures, twine, washi tape, uh, the journaling, everything is done ahead of time. Another thing that's awesome about doing page kits is a lot of the embellishments that I'm adding to these pages are leftovers that were from previous page kits. Yes, I do put on a page kit way more embellishments than I'm going to need. I like to have the options. So when I put a page kit together, I put up to 30 or 40 embellishments on one page kit. And so that when I get to that page kit and I have the pictures, I have some options. But as you can tell, every time I start a new page kit, I go to the older stuff first. I'm putting those on the layout. And then in this container is stuff that was never put in a page kit. And then I'm adding some in uh, the page kits. Another thing that I like having that many embellishments, I don't know how many times that I, if I do a page and I don't have a prepared page kit, I find that my embellishment clusters are lacking in embellishments because I don't like as I'm doing the page kit to go from sticker sheet to sticker sheet trying to find out what I'm going to put together but if I have all these um, all these embellishments on a page kit I know okay I'm going to use as many embellishments as I possibly can now as you saw that last page kit that I put together one of the stickers that I saw was a deer and then that I took it off the sticker sheet and I put it on the page kit because I was it made me think of Harry Potter and his Patronus so I'm like you know what you're reading Harry Potter Potter this year I mean I've watched all the movies but this is the first time that I'm reading through Harry Potter so I want to do a page about it and I thought this would be the perfect embellishment to add onto that page so I took a little um recipe card and I put Harry Potter so when I get to that page kit I'm going to know to print off some pictures of reading Harry Potter so that was the perfect example of, you know, as I was pulling embellishments together, that when I saw some embellishments, I was like, yes, I totally could do a page about this. And that had never entered my mind before, but because of those embellishments, it made me think of it. So this time around, I'm doing 30 page kits and that hopefully will last me, you know, all of December and possibly into January, I'm going, I think I'm going to a crop in January. So I'll have to make some more, you know, some more page kits. And now that I think of it, I don't know how many pages I'm going to get in December because in December, I always do December daily. 
and December 1st is coming up this weekend. So I got to start putting my December daily kit together. I have the type of personality that if I don't do something like that, when it's happening, I'm not going to do it at all. So every year, this will be, I think, my fourth year doing December daily, and I've completed each and every one of them. And I do it in the month of December of that year, because if I don't do it, it doesn't get done. So in the next few days, you'll see uh, me showing you my December daily kit. Now, as I'm doing the last page here, I just want to talk a little bit more. Yesterday, I had talked about my daughter getting assaulted and somebody came in just in the middle of me explaining what happened. And then when I got back, I couldn't remember at what spot I was at. So yes, she was working. She went after this guy because he was stealing from her store and she you know, told him to give her her stuff back. And um, she walked into this other store and said, call security. And as she was walking back to her store, he went up to her and chest butted her, head butted her and then punched her in the face. And the mall was full. And after the guy left, there was a whole bunch of people that went up to her and gave them, um, gave, they gave her their name and phone number and said that if she needed a witness to testify against the guy that they would they would do that. Uh, 10 minutes later, the security guards came to her store, but I mean, the guy was long gone. 45 minutes later, the police came and took her um, statement and everything. Then her boss told her to go, like her higher boss CEO, told her to go to the ER. And uh, she did, and she had a concussion. So she was off work for a week. And then um, she did go back. I mean, she's a boss so she can't um, take too much off but she did have a headache for quite a while after that she is now seeing a counselor for the trauma of it and uh, she goes two or three times a month to, to kind of talk it out and uh, things like that because it was it was scary i mean he could have he could have had a knife or a gun like who knows right if you're gonna go and do that kind of thing uh, who knows at what length you would go to. So I just want to thank you. I've had several people, you know, leave messages for her and um, it means a lot. So I just want to give you a little update at, you know, she's still, she's still working, but she's, you know, afraid to go to work now. She's okay physically, just emotionally, it's going to take her some time. So that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.